What hmm. about Charlie? Is he up yet? It's weird. No, he's still sleeping. And Emma just went to bed. Uh, I saw her come in when I was making breakfast. Good freaking God. You know who she's seeing I'm now? amazed, though, because uh, this is know. a lesbian Lie? character, apparently. Those lads I see her with, in, darling. In an early she's too 2000s good for those game. assholes. I wish she'd find herself a man who'd treat her right for Ossos. once. She hasn't had much luck with love, no? She's a magnet for creeps. And she's so pretty. They prey on her, you know. Bastards. Bastards. I've tried to talk to her about it, but Emma's impulsive. She doesn't listen. Quick, let's jump off of that cliff in my dream. She's just oh, as headstrong as you and me, darling. But I'm sure she'll be all right. She's smart and resourceful. And not afraid to speak up for herself. Uh, Shouldn't you be outside enjoying the good weather? I swear. You joking? Bollocks to that. I'll stay inside until September, thank you very much. It's too bloody hot. Can I ask you a few questions? Why, certainly, darling. About what? About what? Let's see here. Um... Tell me what about, about Emma? the ring? Emma? Why? She's your best friend, darling. I don't know what to tell you that you don't already know. You girls are so close. Expository. That's true. The day we met, we clicked instantly. It was strange, but cool. Like me and Mickey, then. Except for the sex, of course. That's a pretty big except for Fiona. I was right. She is a lesbian oh, character. Oh, I guess so. She's the crazy one, Emma is. Not crazy as in mad as a hatter, but crazy in a good way. Fun to be around. Emma's always been a little weird. Exactly, darling. She's a flirt, too, and the boys seem to drop like flies at her feet. No wonder. She's a real looker, I don't have to tell you. I'm sure she could have been a model if she'd wanted. But she's an artist, and a good one, too. I really think she'll be a successful artist. Her sculptures are getting a lot of attention. Mm, I bet. Anything else you can tell me about Emma? She ought to be a little more careful sometimes. She's a flirt. And although she doesn't mean any harm, some lads don't take too well to being teased and rejected. You should tell her that, though. Being her best friend and all. Yeah, really. I have told her. She won't listen. No. She does worry me a little, but she's a big girl and she can take care of herself. I'm certainly happy to have her living here. Next to you and Charlie, she's my favorite tenant. All right, well, so far it seems that um, this game is going to be very slow because I really don't want to have to com uh, have to uh, look to a walkthrough, so I'm basically going to have to do try everything on everything. The good old uh, adventure game standby, rub everything on everything. Let's see what happens. What did you think of me when we first met? That's a peculiar question, isn't it? I thought you were quite lovely. I still do, darling. Do you remember the day I arrived? Of course, darling. It wasn't that long ago, and I'm not senile quite yet. It was in May, wasn't it? Charlie referred you to me, and you were quite at a loss. First day in the city, wasn't it? I remember. You look like a lost puppy. Puppy? Me? When I saw you lugging that suitcase across the bridge, my heart went out to you. I'm glad you came here. You could have been lost anywhere else. Apparently. Derp -a -derp -a -derp -derp -derp. Sorry if I'm being quiet, but I, I'm, you know, I'm trying to play the game here, and I really don't have any snarky snark comments, so... How long have you known Charlie? Oh, he's one of AKA our oldest tenants. It's close to three years, I believe, since he moved in. Charlie is always in a good mood, and he's such a gentleman. I agree. He's an actual, genuine gentleman. And you don't see a lot of gentlemen these days, trust me. You have a very good friend in him, darling. Perhaps even more than a friend. What do you mean, more than a friend? Not for me to say, darling. If you don't realize it yet, you will. Oh, whatever. Let's see here. What's up with Zach Lee? Zach? I think we both feel the same way about him, darling. He's not actually a bastard. 
If he was, I'd have had him out of here in an instant. But he is an ass and a stuck-up, pompous, arrogant wanker. Wanker! My thoughts, exactly. I swear, Aside her British that, accent is worse than mine. Still, he pays his rent on time and he doesn't make a lot of noise. He keeps to himself. And most importantly, he's shit scared of me. So I can't just kick him out. Okay, um... Tell me a little bit about yourself, Fiona. Expository! Me? Why? It's not much to say, darling. I love my job, I love Venice, and I love being with Mickey. I'm a happy girl. Yay. Sure, sometimes I wish I could go back to England to see my family, but that's water under the bridge, so to speak. I'm very happy with myself and my life here in Newport. How long have you and Mickey been together? Mickey and I have been together since I was 19. She was in her late 30s. I then. knew it! Lesbians! Older, wiser, Lesbians! I knew I it! I found her sweet and charming and intriguing. Which is actually very odd for an early, uh, for late 90s game. she was game. neither of those things, it was too late. <laughs> I was in love. She stole me away from my dreary British inner city life, and she brought me here. Oh. She was no knight in shining armor, that's for sure. But she knew how to treat me like a woman. You guys make a so great feel couple. like a woman. Do, 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 do. Yes, I guess we do. Copyright sex music. is amazing. You never get tired of talking about your sex life, do you? Never. And if I ever do, please shoot me. <laughs> oh, nice. Can you tell me something about the border house? That's one of my favorite topics, darling. What precisely do you want to know? What made you decide to run a boarding house? I wanted to see if there's a ring That's option. a long story. One of the reasons Mickey and I got together was that we shared a passion for the classic English country inns. You know, quaint, weathered buildings, funny old ladies, and oddly suggestive names like the Lazy Cock. <laughs> so why come here to the big city? To America? To America! We wanted to create a place with a similar atmosphere and hospitality here in Newport. Like a safe house for people like you and I to call home, if only for a short while. So we discussed different options for a few months, and then we decided we wanted to start a boarding house for young, penniless students and artists. All right. You decided you wanted to do that here in Venice? We knew that Venice was the place for us long before we came here, but the hard part was finding a building cheap enough. And this building was available? Not at first. Like most of the buildings in Venice, this one used to be a factory. But when we first looked at it, a local company was planning to turn it into a bar and nightclub. It was so perfect for our purposes, though, that we appealed to the Venice Borough Council. And after outlining our plans, they gave us the go-ahead at a reduced price, provided we kept our promises regarding our tenants. Border what inspired house. the name Border House? That came quite naturally when we saw the place. It's on the border between two worlds, isn't it? Between Venice and the city itself. Double entendre! Time, I Law. also believe we're on the border between two more abstract worlds. Between art and spirit on the one hand, and science and technology on the other. Okay, now we're getting That's much more poetic. pointedly here. Come on, people. Yes. I've practiced. I may be an inner city girl, but I can philosophize and bullshit with the best of them. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, because... <laughs> huh, I wonder if that's going to have anything to do with the plot. Do you and Mickey own the place together? We own it together, yes. And we've shared the responsibilities between us. Mickey takes care of the maintenance of the building, and I busy myself with the administrative tasks. Administrative. I also take care of the day-to-day -day management of our tenants, like deciding whether or not to let someone rent a room. And, of course, the unpleasant business of booting someone out. I thought you enjoyed that part. Yes, all right. In some cases I do, but not always. It can get quite messy. Thanks for the information. I'm glad I could help you out, darling. Oh, I think I might have screwed up my uh, timer. Not Tell good, me some more about the border house. I'll just go what into precisely my... precisely do you uh, want to know? Oh, did I go through all Thanks this? for the information. Ah! <laughs> I'm glad I could help you out, darling. Okay, um, no, but, um, uh, so I'm just going to stop it when I uh, think it's been about an hour. What can you tell me about Venice? 
Venice! I don't really know much about the history of Venice. Ah, you should really ask someone with an interest in local affairs. What local. I do know is that this whole neighborhood used to be an industrial area, and that about 100 years ago, they converted most of the buildings into residences for students and the homeless. Homeless? And it's a nice place to live, certainly. Friendly people, liberal attitudes, great clothing stores, quite perfect. Aside from that dreadful stench from the canals in the summertime. What's the story behind my apartment? Your apartment? It's more a room than anything else. Not much more than a large closet, really. It's not that small. Huh. It's one of our smallest rooms, but it's cheap and it's on a nice floor. I hope you're happy there. I like it. It's convenient. And it's got a... an interesting view. That's nice to hear, darling. As for the story behind it, no unexplained deaths or hidden pirate treasures, I'm afraid. Damn it! Just a long string of students on a tight budget. Yeah. Do you like Newport? No! The city? Well, I stay in Venice most of the time. It's easy to forget we're just a tiny little pocket in the middle of a sprawling urban wasteland. But do I like it? I think Newport is one of the great cities of our age. Love it or hate it, you can't argue with that. No, you can't. And which one is it? Love or hate? Murder! I haven't decided yet, darling. Ask me again in another 15 years. Perhaps I'll have an answer then. <laughs> Modification. I don't have any more questions right now. Yes, you don't do. hesitate asking if there's something else you want to know. I'd better get going. Off to school. Yeah, there are no more classes this semester, but I have to finish my painting by next Thursday. For what it's worth, darling, good luck. And don't work too hard, all right? All right, stand up, you stretch. Oh, then let's look under the... They really knew how to design tacky furniture back in the late 22nd century. I saw this note on the corkboard. I think the ring might belong to me. I'm sorry, I have to ask, but could you describe the ring? Sure thing. It says Sweet Sixteen. My dad gave it to me. I think it was the only birthday of mine he remembered, or at least acknowledged. Yes, that's the one. I found it under the sofa when I was vacuuming. Here you are, darling. Yeah. Thanks. Jeez. It's not worth much. But it's got a certain sentimental value for me. Cool. It's a very pretty ring. Yeah. Yeah, it is. My dad never gave me anything pretty before or since. He must have won a poker game or something that day. You know what's strange? I don't hate him. He's a bastard, and he treated me like crap almost every single day of my life. But I don't hate him. I feel sorry for him. Oh. Why? Because he doesn't know how to love. He can't love anybody or anything. And because he'll be miserable every second of every minute of every day until the day he dies. Okay, that's kind of dark. I'm glad that life is behind me. I hope I never have to see him again. No, that doesn't sound right. I've made a choice not to see him again. Ever. Because I murdered him. Alright, uh... Look at the chair. It's a chair. Oh, pick up the matchbook. It's something collectible. It's not nailed down. We must pick it up. Yay! Watch TV. Watch TV. I want to watch... Come on. The omnipresent screen. I don't pretend to know how it works, but all the data apparently passes through tiny little black holes in the fabric of our dimension. You know... That really freaks me out when I think about it. <laughs> yeah, a little mini black hole. More fans. Proper air conditioning was apparently never a viable alternative for the contractor. Shelves. 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 Oh, that's still shelves. Okay. Let's run out the door because we're like, because we're bows. Run out the door like a bows. I love this mural. Even though the motif is a little trite. I mean, fairy tale forests and magical dragons? Still, it's pretty. I wonder what happened to the artist. Probably making a bundle from cheesy fantasy calendars and book. 
machine. <laughs>